Hello, I'm Monica from Clover ETL, and in this video we're going to explore the new spreadsheet components coming in the latest release of Clover. In essence, this release is a major overhaul of our Excel capabilities, and what's cool is it now brings users many more mapping options, and really, better performance. But let's start off with the basics. Here we have a mapping editor that tells Clover how to read spreadsheet data into Clover fields. I can do this very easily by selecting it a header in my Excel and mapping it by name. This actually tells Clover to match the header with the field name. And if it can't find either a header or the field name, it just doesn't map it. So really this is an automatic and very convenient way of mapping spreadsheet data into output fields. Also, take a moment to notice the yellow cells. These show a preview of what the first record will look like, which allows me to automatically and immediately see here what I'm reading. Let me show you another example now, one that's a little more complicated. Here, I have an Excel spreadsheet which contains some redundant data. Maybe some text, some headers, and stuff like that. So I want to be reading the same data again, but I need to be more specific in my mapping. This time, I'll mark row 3 as map by name. You can see that even though the mapping is right, I'm not getting the first input record. I can fix this issue quickly by changing what is called the data offset. The data offset tells Clover how far the actual data is from the header. So if I increase it, setting it to 4 and thus jumping 4 rows from the header, I can see now that the first record looks great. So there you have it, the mapping for this kind of file. Also do notice that even though the field in my output metadata are still the same, in this spreadsheet they are in a different order. But as this is mapped by name, Clover knows which to map where, so it can easily deal with this mixed up order, no problem. I do want to mention here though that if I'm not happy with this, I can change my mapping to what is called an explicit mapping, which is exactly what it sounds like. This is where I select the cells I want to map, and I tell Clover explicitly where I want to map them. And again, I need to fix my data offset to whatever value I need. This explicit mapping tells Clover not to look for the header and match the field, it just knows that the data go to the address field no matter what the header is. So, this wraps up the basics of mapping in the new Clover spreadsheet components. Check out the next videos coming up for more advanced examples.